Here is another helpful stair layout and design video. And again, I'm not going to show you how to build this type of stairway. And uh, even though I might later on create a separate book for a variety of different stairways, if that's the case, I will put a link in here somewhere for that particular book. So in this stairway here, we're just simply going to have four steps to a landing, four steps to a landing all the way around and it'll be at 45 degree angles. And here are the measurements to scale if you were um, going to build the exact same stairway, but you're probably not going to. Yours might be a little um, wider or a little skinnier, and um, you might have more steps in it or less, step, less steps in it. You can always have four steps, two steps, something like that if you needed, three steps to two steps, three steps, two steps kind of a thing. And let's go ahead and take a look at what it might look like when you are done here. Four steps up to a landing, just kind of go work our way around the stairway and you kind of see where it lines up here. These four steps are this right here, landing here. And then this step right here would be this one right here. Just kind of go around. Nice looking stairway, probably belongs in some type of a castle there, a little larger than most people are going to need. I believe uh, 13, 14 or 15 steps is going to be the uh, average stairway for a two-story house with a eight foot ceiling and two by 12 joists, something like that. Again, to our landing. Just Work our way around, landing, four steps. And the six inches here that you see is uh, the required minimum by the building code. Um, so again, the, even though I'm showing you how to lay out something like this and give you a kind of an idea of what it would look like, you would need to check with your local building department to verify whether or not you could actually build something like this um, in your particular area, um, state, county, or country. Now let me see if I can give you a more detailed idea of uh, how to kind of lay something like this out. First off, I want to point out that each one of these angles is a 45 degree angle. Now a good place to start for this type of stairway, since the measurements are going to be difficult to figure out, will be with the bottom section here. And uh, whatever your tread width is going to be, or depth. And then uh, each one of these I'm going to add 6 inches because that's what the building code requires. They do not have a measurement for the outside. They do on the inside for an angled step. So I'm using 11 inch treads. So I got four treads, 11 inches plus 6 inches, um, or, or I should say 44 inches plus 6 inches is going to be 50 inches. And we can always double check that on our original plan to see what the inside measurement was, if that worked out. And the next line you're going to want to draw will be this line here, and it can be longer as long as you have an eraser or a computer to erase it with. But you're going to come off of this point here. We're not going to worry about this point. This line can be longer when we're drawing the um, first section here. And then we're going to get the intersection point after we draw this line. Then we're going to draw the steps that we need to create a um, rectangle. And uh, then we are going to continue the line past, and then we will stop it at the intersecting point. And of course, this line can be a little longer here also. And then we will come off of here with our six inches. So another 45 degree angle. This line right here is going to be parallel to this line here. And of course, this line here will be at a 90 degree angle from this line here also. So these lines will be parallel these lines will be parallel. And of course, these lines will be parallel to this line here. So again, we will draw this line and it can be longer. We don't have to worry about this. And then we will add our six inches and then our 44 inches. And then we will create our rectangle again and then draw this line. And then wherever it intersects here, 
with this one, then we can erase the edges or delete the lines that are sticking past it to create these corners here. So again, this line can be a little longer. So can this one, or you can stop it just like we did here where this one would be exactly, exactly where we want it. The only thing is we're not going to know how long this line is going to need to be um, unless we're going to do some uh, math calculations. You know, so this line right here can run longer or shorter. You're not going to worry about it until you do the next section. And of course, you will do the same thing again. Six inches here, rectangle with your steps, and then draw the line to figure out where it's going to intersect here. And of course, the last section here won't be that big of a deal because it's going to be exactly the same as this one here. So the lines right here will all line up with this particular section of the stairway. So this, this section right here will be an exact duplicate of this one, just kind of flipped around. And as a matter of fact, these sections will be the same, just kind of flipped around also. So anyway, that's it. Again, like I said, I wasn't planning on showing you how to build something like this, but uh, if I get enough comments where you know, uh, quite a few people want to see how this stairway is built, then I will be glad to um, create some type of a book for that and uh, put it on the market so that I can make some money and then uh, keep making my videos. Remember that the support from purchases of my books uh, and advertising through YouTube is uh, how I make my money to um, draw to or to do videos like these if you like them hit the old thumbs up button and at the very least if you're not watching advertising or buying the books at the very least you can do is hit the old thumbs up button and leave a comment let us know how much you like the videos